So you've just installed Vega 17 and you're loading up for the first time. Now there's a handful of things you're going to want to do just to get it set up. Now the first thing, just because of the way 17 defaults on their default view, I'm going to start here. We've got uh, 17 up in front of us. I'm going to just throw a, a media clip here onto the timeline and we're going to go ahead and add it. And uh, so okay it's an interview clip now first of all my uh, preview window here if you notice the player here I only got a couple controls so what you want to do to get all of your controls back is to click on the three little lines edit visible button set and say show all and then OK so now you get all of your different controls your stop go to the beginning of clip go to end the clip um, this I mean you're gonna want this especially like this frame by frame to be able to go frame by frame um, the other thing where they're not showing you all of your options is on your video tracks and audio tracks and you have to do these separately uh, but once you do it once you don't have to do it ever again it'll remember it so again same thing on the video track the three lines you'll see edit visible button set and you just go show all and okay now you notice we have a lot more of the controls there now same thing on the audio tracks we're going to go to edit visible button set show all and okay and now you see we have a lot more a lot more options over there now the other thing you're going to want to do as of Vegas 17 um, they removed and they actually didn't remove it is actually still there uh, but under media generators uh, if you go all the way to the bottom for text putting text on the screen you only have the titles and text which in my opinion, Tells and Text is good. I use it, but it can be buggy and it makes everything incredibly choppy. Um, I'll use it if I need a fancy title for a paid project, but if I just need to throw text on the screen, I want to use the legacy stuff. It's easy, it's quick to put in there and set up, throw shadow on it, whatever. But you see that option is now gone. So in order to get that back, and like I said, if you ever have to work on one of my videos, you'll need this back because I use it a lot. So go to Options and then go down to preferences and options and then what you'll see up here is depreciated features there's a tab up there second row second one over and you have a couple different items that you can um, uh, check here so you want to enable legacy text now once you click apply this is one of those things that you're gonna have to restart Vegas in order for it to appear so I'm gonna go ahead and do that Okay, fresh restart. I'm going to throw my track back in here. So the first thing you notice is now that I've restarted, all my buttons are still there. All my little buttons on each on each of the tracks are still there. It remembered that. Let's go into our media generators over here and scroll to the bottom. And now, once again, we have legacy text. So, like I said, I prefer that. A lot of people get re got really upset when that is not was not appearing in there. Um, there's a couple other tricks, uh, but we'll get to those later.